So what are we making tonight, Erica? Oh, Adrian. Um, well, um, I bought a, a, a cauliflower because it's cauliflower season and you know, this is what it comes in this beautiful dress like That's this. So beautiful. Can I you know do it is thing with that. Uh not really. It's kind of smells kind of cabbagey and it's not I don't maybe some people Soup, eat this. Maybe? I don't know. I wouldn't do it, but mm. um I don't know. I'm just going to leave it there for decor. It's not particularly decorative. But I was I thought maybe I'd make like a a cauliflower gratin and um I blanched this just very briefly. And now I have to figure out what I'm going to do with it. There's like two ways to go with something like that. You could do like sort of like a bechamel sauce with cheese, for instance. Popcorn, what are you doing? Um, I think it's the raccoon. It's, the raccoon has come back. Yeah, that's all right. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, um, or you can do like my other good way is to do more of a Mediterranean thing. And I'm thinking maybe I'll do that tonight. So... <laughs> So, so the dog is howling. <laughs> so anyway, so we have um, the cauliflower, and let's see. Um, I, I soaked some capers. These are good Sicilian capers, and these are really good. They come from the Isle of Pantelleria, and they're very, very big and, and, and floral and delicious. So I'll use those. Oh, look who's here. It's Pop Pop. Yes, she's and, being yeah. quiet now. And, oh, good. And, um... And then maybe anchovies. I love anchovies with a cauliflower. Do you like that? That sounds delicious. Yeah, right? Well, yeah. you like anchovies with I everything. Do, yeah. Do. So maybe we'll, and maybe garlic. I actually grew this garlic and it's myself. It's fabulous garlic. I yeah. have one of those. Yeah, this is like the last. I think this is the last it of a lot. So Whoa, shit, there it goes. Okay. So I'm not going to do a lot of garlic here. Um, but maybe just a little. Look at that. It's really juicy. This is what you get when you grow your own garlic. It's like super, oh, it's so super good. delicious. Yeah, yeah. Mm, delicious. So let's just use a little of that. That'll probably be enough. This is just like one head of medium head of cauliflower. Mm -hmm. It was actually sort of yellow when I bought it, but when you I blanched it, it turned white, which was kind of sad. Um, but anyway, so okay, here's garlic, and what else do we have? Well, I'm thinking maybe. Uh, Butter instead of olive oil, even though it's not particularly Mediterranean, and like maybe like a lot of butter. Is this too much? A lot much? of butter is always good. Yeah, or maybe. Is okay, let's. Salted or unsalted? It, this is unsalted. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, actually, that's a good question because unsalted, if you is good if you're going to be, especially if you're using anchovies, because yeah. that would could really add too much salt. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just maybe just melt this. Just melt that, right? And then add, and then add a couple of anchovies. These are good anchovies. These mm. are anchovies from um, Chitara, which is the anchovy capital of the world. Okay. It's right south in uh, Naples. So maybe what? How many did I put? Like four or five? I don't know. I don't remember. Something like that. How do you catch an anchovy? Uh, you have to go out on, on a boat, and <laughs> and you have to be really nice and let them. Let, let. There are there anchovy nets? Yeah, there are. Mm -hmm. There are. Um. Okay, and put the anchovies with the butter, so it all melts together. All right, and let's just let that go. What else can we put in there? Oh, the garlic. Let's put the garlic in. What do you think of this popcorn? Is this good? Is this going to be good? Okay. Let's put this in. Garlic. It's not too much garlic. This is nice, fresh garlic. It seems like a lot, but, you know, it's really, really uh, fresh and sweet, so it's not like supermarket garbage. All right, that looks good. All right, so my idea, well, it's the knife, um, is to just... Um, let's see. Maybe just make this really simple. I mean, just throw this in here mm -hmm. like that, and then uh, what do we have to do? Oh, here's my idea. Put some panko on top. Panko flakes. Good, right? Little crisp up. Yeah. Yeah, and then. And then 
voila, the uh, oh, that should do it, right? These are good because they're, they're they're not as dense as uh, regular breadcrumbs. Okay, and then maybe just pour the. So that's the butter and anchovies. Yeah, butter, anchovy, and garlic, and pour, oh. pour this over the top. Mm. So this will season the the panko and also grease everything up nicely. Wait, let me just do this. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Are you gonna bake that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could do this. I think this could actually use mm. more butter. I know, I was trying to be like conservative, but maybe we don't need to do that. And so, I have capers. Let's use these. You can use olives. Uh oh, I think the uh, the raccoon is back. Capers are good, or olives, or anything that's that gives it a little more flavor. That should do it. Oh, here's a couple more. Watch. Yeah. Capers are good, and okay, here we go. Yummy. Here's the rest of the butter because it wasn't quite enough, right, Adrian? No. More butter is always. Yeah. Oh, it got smells good. And we could just dump that right on like that. And you know, I went into my herb garden earlier and I was trying to figure out what I was gonna put on this herb wise. And my basil's shot for the season, so forget huh. that. Yeah, I don't know what happened to it. I think critters Bug got bugs. it. Bugs and critters, mm. I think. Um, I think uh, uh, woodchucks, <laughs> actually. Mark Morrison, his woodchuck right. family. So I, I just pulled some um, some summer savory. I just thought that would be Mark nice Morris with the ancho. Might sue you. What? Mark Morris might sue oh, you. Oh well, it's too bad because he's living here. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I thought this would be good because it's kind of strong and it would be nice with the anchovies, which are also kind of strong. So that so you can't. I guess maybe not that much. So I'm just gonna chop this up. And stick this on top that'll be good now let's see what do we what do we need I think we need a little uh, this is Aleppo pepper which is not super hot it's just like semi hot but it's very fragrant and floral mm. it's kind of sweet actually that might do it and maybe oh you know what would be good on this maybe some uh, lemon zest let me get a That's that. I think this is a good combo of stuff because you get the sweet butter mm -hmm. and the sharp lemon zest and the sharp capers. It looks very Mediterranean. It's it yeah. It's very Mediterranean except for the butter actually. But mm. but you could do this with olive oil. I just for some reason I was really into the idea. Of, I love butter with um anchovies. So that'll. I think that should do it right. Okay. Okay, now I didn't put any salt on this because I was thinking that the anchovies and the capers yeah. are quite salty, but for some reason, I'm always scared that it's not enough salt. So I'm just gonna add a little layer of a little Malden sea salt on top and let's rearrange this to the middle so it looks like really proper. And that's it, so I think that'll do it. And, um, and I'm just gonna stick it in the oven until it gets all brown and bubbling. And you know what? I think maybe it's a touch it's more. Breaking. A little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So let's just stick it in the oven and, um, and just let it bubble up and brown and then we'll, uh, see what we've got. Okay. So what's the temperature of the oven? Oh, I just jacked it up. Uh, I actually have it on like 450. Oh, wow. That's yeah, I know. But you know, the thing is, it doesn't have to really cook. It just has to heat through and bubble because the, uh, the cauliflower is already cooked. So, I mean, just getting it brown is really what you're doing, you know, more than anything. Uh -huh. So, and, and, and heating everything through. So, so we're going to leave this in. I'm thinking about 10 minutes and then we'll, you know, we'll see what we've got. Okay. Okay. All right. Action. Okay. So I've had this in this broiler and it, it definitely got broiled on top. So I think it's, oh yeah, that looks much better. 
Look at that. See, and the um, the Aleppo pepper got all like red and, and juicy looking, and ah, this is very good. Okay, so, wow, mm. nice and hot. Yeah, it looks that good. Looks yeah, so I'm just gonna put a little extra um, uh, summer savory on top, and I think we're ready to go. It's gotta sit for a bit before we taste it, and I have to cook the salmon, but let me, let me just see what the, See, to see what the balance of flavors is. Oh yeah, it's good. I can really taste the anchovies. The butter is, is definitely there. Capers. This is a good one. Very easy. Wow. Yeah. And, and cheese free. And cheese free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you could put cheese. Cheese and, and anchovies is not a, a bad comp. It's really a, pretty delicious, but I didn't want to do it this time. But anyway, so I think, um, this is this is a winner.